All right, so I wanted to talk to you about this Air Base Zeli Java. Uh, sorry if I mispronounce the name. It's a Yugoslavian area, okay? So here's why I want to talk to you about the Air Base. <clears throat> I don't think there's anything paranormal going on about it or, you know, any experiments or anything, but I just want to talk to you about it just briefly, and I'll make my point at the end here. So it is an underground base, all right? goes under the code name of Object 505. It has five runways, it has a barracks, it has a radar on top of the mountain because like I said, it's built underground. It also has 34 other buildings that are attached to all of those things that I just named. It is an underground base. It is a complex that has a series of tunnels and galleries uh, divided by 56 armored doors. It has four entrances. The dimensions of three of the doors is 60 centimeters thick and a width of 20 meters and a height of four meters weighing 100 tons. They all run off, off of electricity. The fourth one has a thickness of 80 centimeters and a width of 20 meters and a height of nine meters. So these doors are no joke. All right, the Kleck facility, that's what they call it. It can withstand an impact of 20 kilotons, right? So again, it's just this massive, and you can see the pictures here, it's just this massive, massive underground facility. And the reason why I bring this unbelievable achievement to your attention is because it was built in the mid-1950s. We have something this gargantuous, this, this massive, this, this underground bunker that was built in the 50s. So can you just imagine what other bases there are? Because this actually was shut down in 1968. But can you imagine, and the reason it was shut down was because the country just it went bankrupt and lost money. It couldn't afford to keep it open. But let's take a country like America, for instance. Let's take a country like Russia, for instance. And you build an underground base that you start in the 50s because you can't assume that if a place like this is starting an underground bunker in the 50s that we're not starting one in the 50s that russia isn't starting one in the 50s that some of these wealthiest countries you know uh, on earth that have military minded ideas are not starting these things in the 50s but can you imagine if you start something like like this in the 50s but you continue to build it all the way up until today. Can you imagine how deep and how far and how big those things are and what they have in them? Who knows the types of secrets that facilities this grand would have just underground, nobody even knowing that they even exist. The thought is incredible. I find this base incredible. I find when it was built incredible. And I find the idea that if it still went on being built for another 60 years, how big it would be and how big some of these underground places are. All right, that's about it, as usual.